Hey friends, in this video, I will tell you how to open Microsoft Edge and how to use it. So, by clicking on this window, in on this window button, it is showing start. After clicking on it, I can see the list of app I have downloaded on my PC. So, I have to straight go to M. If I go to M, I will see here Microsoft Edge. After clicking on it, I will it will open a new tab. See, as you can see here, this it's a new tab. Okay? And this is this. You can see this temperature. This temperature is from Dwarka, Delhi, New Delhi. As you can see here. Okay? Okay. So, these are all things that you can see. Okay. News and all the things from around all the world. Nice. Now, as you can see, this is a search bar. Search bar, right? Or you can enter a URL. Nice. If I write Y O U T U B E YouTube dot com and if I press enter, YouTube's website will open. Okay, nice. Now, if you want to go back or go forward, then you have to click on this button. By clicking on this button, you can go back. And by clicking on this button, right now, I, I do not have this option to go forward. Once I click on this back button, then I will have the option to go forward. But I do not have the option to go backward again. Okay. So, as you have seen that we can go forward and backward by using these buttons. Isi ke side mein, you can see this refresh, control R, this refresh button. You can also use it by just clicking on control r if i press on this button then it will reload this page and if i press control plus r then also it will reload okay nice so now let's see what's this add this page to your favorites oh nice you can add this page also to your favorites by simply pressing Ctrl plus D or by simply clicking on this button. Now, if I click on this button, it will show that favorite E added. And here you can see this new tab. And it will ask for the name. And I have... N-A-M-E. -E. I have given the name. <laughs> done. If I click on done, then it will show here name. If I click on this name, then again it will reload because I have just saved the same page that I am using right now. If you want to edit your page, uh, then you have to again press Ctrl plus D or click on that button again. Now I click on that button again. Now I have these options. Edit favorite. Here is the name and the folder. If you want to change the folder, you can choose other favorites or favorites bar. Choose another folder. You can also choose another folder also, right? Now, after that, we have an option of more. Done and remove. Now, let's see what happens if I click on more. Edit favorite name. See, this is the name and URL. Where will it take you to? And if I edit the URL from here and I write. Uh, if I write YouTube.com and then save it, then see. It will see show the logo of YouTube and if I click on that, it will open the website of YouTube. So, I don't want to go to YouTube, okay? Now, I have just pressed the back button. Did you see? So, it 
took me to the same page that we were talking about. Nice. If I want to remove this bookmark, then you can press Ctrl D and then click on remove. Nice. And see, you can see this collections button, right? A button like some book. Huh? If I click on this, then it will show this, okay? Or start new collection. If you want to remove the collections, then select them and press on this delete selection. Okay? Then it will show that number of collections you have removed. I have removed two collections, so it is showing two collections removed. If you want to undo it, if you want those tabs back, then you can click on undo. Nice. Now it will show after removing those all the collections I had made. It will show welcome to collections, collect and organize web pages as you browse. Okay. If I click on start new collection, then it will ask for the name. Okay. I have clicked on new. I have given the name new. If I click on add current page, then it will add this page to my collections okay i don't want this so i have deleted that nice okay now let's come back as you can see that this person like face and if i click on that it will show my email id etc so okay and this is the settings if I click on that, it will show page layout, focused, inspiration, inspirational, informational, yeah, fair, customized. If you want focused, then you can click on focused, etc. So I want inspirational. I have clicked on inspirational. So see, if I clicked on inspirational, it is showing this. Okay, this, this. And if you like or dislike this image, you can click here and see the this place, name, etc. So, I like it. If you like it, you can click on I like it or I dislike it. Nice. After clicking that, you can see this settings and more. If you want, don't want to click on this button and see the settings and you want to see the settings, you can simply press Alt and F on your keyboard. Alt F. So I have pressed on Alt plus F and new tab. It is showing new tab, new window, new in private window on zoom. If I decrease it, see. This will be decreased all. Okay. Nice. So, I just want to reset it to 110. Okay. And it's favorites, history, downloads, apps. Okay. Manage apps. Install this site as an app. Okay. I can't install this site because it's only a new app. Extensions, collections, print, web capture. Now, if I click on web capture... It will take to me a plus like sign. Okay. So I have captured this. Search the web. Okay. Now if I release that button. Left button. And if I click on copy. This picture will be copied. And if I click on add notes. Okay. Let's see what will happen. Okay. It will take me to this tab. Okay. It's new tab for me. If I click on draw, by default, it has red color. It can other it can be other color also in your PC. Okay. From here, I can adjust the thickness. If you want it to be thick, then you can bring this cursor to thick or to thin. Okay. From here, I have a variety of colors to choose from. Okay. Nice. So, let me use thick. Now, let's see what will happen. Oh, nice. Okay. Now, if I want to erase it, now I will click on this button, erase. And just by pressing one time, you can see that all that mess had been erased. 
okay from here we can share that web note or copy the web note from here and print the web oh sorry save the web note from here and now closed okay web capture says changes you made may have not been saved okay so thank you for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos